Boom, shake the room, Fire Nation. JLD here, and welcome to Entrepreneurs on Fire, brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network with great shows like My First Million, stories about companies that grew from nothing into legit businesses. Today, we'll be focusing on the top Facebook ad lessons learned from over $200 million in spend. To drop these value bombs, I have brought Chase Chapel on the mic. Chase is a Facebook professional ad partner with 10 million under management and has a lifetime spend of 189.5 million across all of Facebook's products. And today, Fire Nation will talk about what's working with Facebook ads right now, the essence of a great ad, the best way to get started here in 2021 with Facebook ads, and so much more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. What if you can run an e-commerce business with no tech experience or employees and generate 10K or more each month? Today's sponsor, Launch My Biz, is doing just that. LaunchMyBiz.com guarantees your success and revenue with complete end-to-end training and support. Apply today at LaunchMyBiz.com. That's LaunchMyBiz.com. Chase, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something that you believe about becoming successful that most people disagree with. Absolutely. Yeah. So like one thing for me that I know and see a lot of people doing is one, they think that they can scale without having a team. A lot of people, you know, and entrepreneurs are starting out on their journey. They're making a lot of, you know, uh, money. They're having some success. But the thing is, is the moment they want to scale, they're not thinking about going into actually bringing people onto their team and scaling that way. A lot of times they think they can do everything themselves and they start to get capped out or, you know, one day they get sick or something happens and, they realize that, you know, everything really is dependent on them and that they are their business and they don't really have a business. It's truly just them themselves. So I think it's a common misconception that, you know, uh, not to scale into a team is uh, the wrong thought. You should definitely, you know, consider it and actually make that expansion because those are the things that are actually going to make things more consistent for you. Teamwork, Fire Nation, will make the dream work. So whatever your dreams are, building the right team needs to be part of that process. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to be talking about top Facebook ad lessons learned from over $200 million in spend. So a lot of experience coming with these wise words. And Chase, let's be honest, most people just launch into Facebook ads, but you actually teach how to leverage both IG Reels and TikTok before launching Facebook ads. Break down the strategy for us. Yeah, this recently just came about because right now with TikTok and IG Reels, there's so much organic growth happening and they're pushing these, you know, placements so heavily right now and they're uh, really, there's a lot of uninterrupted attention because on Reels right now, you're not seeing any ads. Um, And then on, you know, TikTok, there's only so many advertisers just now joining. So there's a lot of attention there and you can end up engaging with a lot of people without having to actually spend any money to get those results. And here's the thing, like if you make a TikTok post, like, you know, your first post or your third post, one of these posts is actually going to get a ton of views because how it works is they're going to push it out to a lot of people and essentially get you all excited about these views. And you're going to reach, you know, anywhere between 10,000, 100,000, a couple million. Every single time we end up telling somebody to do this, they end up seeing a huge amount of views. And, you know, that's one quick way to see what works. And then as you're actually testing and posting from TikTok to Instagram Reels and getting this reach, you're able to identify fairly quickly what works and what doesn't. And it's kind of like a testing ground that's going to save you a lot of money because you're able to find out the things that resonate with individuals, the things that get the views, the things that actually keep people engaged, and then taking those you know, fundamentals and those skill sets that you're developing there and then applying those to your actual Facebook ads. And it's giving people huge leverage because once you actually end up doing that, you can actually start seeing almost immediately how successful the results become because you've already essentially hacked you know, the human behavior and understanding what it is that's working with getting a lot of views and keeping people engaged and actually taking action. Now, are you seeing different verticals or niches that are really actually working when it comes to IG Reels and TikTok? Or is it really across all verticals? All verticals. You wouldn't even believe the amount of different things that could actually get a ton of <laughs> you know, engagements. I mean, there's dads of TikTok, there's moms of TikTok, there's, there's grandmas of like TikTok. And then on Instagram Reels, you know, you have so many different audiences going on there. It's, you know, we have people who are millennials, you have, you know, Gen Z, you have uh, Gen X, you have so many different individuals actually hopping on here. We have boomers on here. We literally have boomers literally, you know, scrolling through Instagram reels and sending those, you know, Instagram reels to their grandkids and showing them like, hey, check out this reel I just saw. And so that alone 
is giving the you know authority for you to be able to capture a lot of attention and actually engage with an audience, whether it's for your business or your personal brand. I mean, Fire Nation, it's worth it. It's across every single vertical, every single niche and industry. Just start putting some content out there. Like, see what sticks. Like, have some fun. Experience some things. Because if you are going to work with Facebook ads, this is a great way to start your leverage by seeing what's working. And so, speaking of Facebook ads, like, let's get to the meat and potatoes. What the heck is working with Facebook ads right now? Yeah. So, I mean, like with Facebook ads, different things are going to work for different businesses. So testing images, testing videos, you're going to have to find out what works best for your business. There's no one specific thing that's going to work, you know, for everyone. Um, it totally varies depending on what you actually do. But the main thing is when we look at, you know, over hundred million in spend across all these different ad accounts, hundreds of ad accounts, and we actually look at the data, we get down to the numbers and we take our own opinion out of things and we actually pay attention to what are these numbers telling us. When we look at that across the board, you know, it's it's images and it's going to be a shock for a lot of people because there's somebody out there in the market that's saying, hey, push video, let's go video, you know, video is the way to go. And you see all these videos online and people are, you know, they're going with it. I don't know who's saying it, but somebody's doing it out there telling everybody to do the video. When we look at the data, you know, it's pretty much images that are winning and outperforming over the long run. And when we, you know, take a deeper dive into that and trying to understand why it is that images are actually performing over a longer period of time. Why is it that they're more consistent? And it's because they're more direct. A lot of times when people end up hearing that they need to create video, they're, they don't really understand the, you know, the actual mechanisms behind why video actually works, which is why you know earlier we were talking about try TikTok and Instagram Reels because that's gonna allow you to develop the skills. Most of the time people will launch a video and they don't even show the product within the first couple of seconds. They don't even demonstrate what it is and people don't even know what they're watching until they actually get into the video. And you've already lost a huge amount of potential customers, you know, very quickly. So with image, if you're showing the product, you know, instantly, it's right in the center of the image. There's no other stuff in the image itself other than the product. It's super direct. And, you know, Amazon's already figured this out themselves. If you go to Amazon and you, you know, search any product, it could be whatever you want. Just type in a product. What you're going to see immediately is the top items are going to be white backgrounds with the product in the center. It doesn't matter what product it is. If you search it, it's going to be a white background. They're not going to have models. They're not going to have other items in the actual image. It's because they want it to be as direct as possible because they want you to actually buy that thing. So that way you know what it is you're getting. Same thing with the Facebook ads. If you're actually launching these things and being as direct as possible, you're going to get higher conversions. Now, I'm not saying image is going to be you know, the best result on your account. I can guarantee you all the listeners right now, probably a, a vast majority of them have awesome, amazing videos that are converting well. But what I'm saying is the images over a longer period of time are going to be more consistent and it's going to be easier for beginners and everyone else who, you know, doesn't have that skill set of developing content to be able to put out images fairly quickly and get good results. Fire Nation, data doesn't lie. We're talking to somebody who has over $200 million in ad spend. He can look across real data and parse out what's actually working. And guess what? I've seen it for years now. Like sometimes people just say something and then everybody just repeats that one thing. So one time someone said, oh yeah, video's crushing it on Facebook. And now everybody just repeats, oh yeah, video's crushing it on Facebook. They're just repeating something they heard from somebody who heard from somebody who heard from somebody, but it's the data. The data doesn't lie. So Chase, let's talk about the essence, the essence of a great Facebook ad. Let's break it down. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're selling a product or a service, it doesn't matter. If you're promoting something, if your ultimate goal at the end of the day is to get you know, a return on your investment, an actual sale we're talking about. We're not referring to awareness. We're not talking about, you know, um, sharing a story. We're talking about if you need to move your bottom line to get revenue or get an actual return, you know, the main thing, the good essence of an ad is going to be being direct. That's one, showing the actual product in the very center of the image or right at the beginning of the video. And then two, calling out your audience in the copy. Right now with targeting and how things are working out with the iOS 14 and so forth, Targeting is getting a little complicated because you have to really focus in deeply on interest at the moment to actually get things to, you know, convert because Facebook does still control that data. But with your targeting, you could keep it broad. Don't do any targeting at all. And if you just write in the copy who you're looking for, let's say you're selling, you know, um, items for kids and you're looking for mothers with children. If you call out those mothers in the ad by saying, hey, mothers, Facebook doesn't want people to leave their platform. They don't want people to get off Instagram. They need you to stay on the platform because that's how they make their advertising revenue. And so therefore, they're wanting to keep you there so they don't want to show you content that you don't like because if you don't like it, there's a good chance they're going to bounce. 
And so if you call out the audience mothers, the last thing they're going to do is show it to somebody who's not a mother. So the algorithm's sophisticated enough to know who you're calling out when you type that in. So it's going to take that keyword and start to show it to that audience for you. Therefore, you don't have to target mothers because all these other advertisers are selecting that and, you know, that behavior or demographic because they are selling a product that, you know, is for mothers. But because of that, they're all targeting a much smaller pool. But whereas if you go broad and actually call them out in the copy, you're actually using the algorithm to your advantage, therefore getting better results in cost. And so that's, you know, those are two things that are really going to improve the conversion overall. The other thing is in your headline, you either need to state what the product is by just literally naming it exactly as it is. If your service is, say, you're doing roofing, then just say that exact service. You don't have to do some elaborate name. The other thing is the offer. The offer is so imperative right now because the algorithm on Facebook, it's one, uh, one part is going to be your bid, two part is going to be the actual offer, and then three parts going to be uh, a mixture of how many people you can potentially show it to, how many users are active, and a lot of other parameters that are very small that make up the other you know, slice of the pie. But the biggest one, overwhelmingly, is going to be the actual offer. You could actually have somebody bidding against you saying, I'll pay $100 to get you to purchase, and then the other advertiser saying, I'll pay a dollar to get somebody to purchase. You might think the person who's willing to pay 100 will get the sale. Well, it's not always the case because if the person with, you know, that's raising their hand with a dollar is actually has a better offer on their ad, they're actually going to get the conversion because Facebook wants the advertiser who's willing to give the best offer to their individual to get the result. Fire Nation, number one headline, what product is it that you're actually selling? I mean, be simple, be clear, be direct, and then offer. This is a really fascinating way to think about it, Chase. Like, I'm glad you brought up in this manner. Like, Facebook wants conversions. They're not just saying, okay, who's the highest bidder? The highest bidder wins. They want conversions. The best offer is going to convert the best the best offer is going to be promoted most by Facebook. So that's what you need to be thinking about when you're thinking about headline, when you're thinking about offer. And Fire Nation, is there too much noise for a beginner to stand out in this world right now? We're going to be talking about that and more when we get back from thanking our sponsors. Are you ready to take control of your business's branding but don't have a design background? Great news, Fire Nation. Brand Crowd can help. Brand Crowd is a logo maker tool that helps you create an amazing logo design online. How do they do it? Using high-quality, handcrafted designs, Brand Crowd takes your business name and industry and generates thousands of custom logos just for you in seconds. And once Brand Crowd generates a logo you like, you can edit the font, change the colors, and tweak the layout until it's exactly what you want. Once your logo is complete, simply buy that logo and download all the files you need. And because BrandCrowd is much more than just a logo maker, they also offer a whole suite of design tools to help you create social media posts and other print materials using hundreds of design templates in their massive photo library. It's time to create, market, and manage your business's branding and BrandCrowd can help. Check out BrandCrowd.com slash fire to learn more, play with the tool for free, and get 55% off your logo. That's BrandCrowd, B-R-A-N-D-C-R-O-W-D dot com slash fire. Have you ever considered running an e-commerce business but feel you don't have the skill set or resources to make it happen? What if I told you that in less than 90 days you can own a successful e-commerce dropship website loaded with top-selling niche products that generates 10K minimum month over month consistently? All this with no product inventory, technical knowledge, or employees to worry about. How? The LaunchMyBiz.com partner program. The LaunchMyBiz partner program allows you to benefit from their years of experience and success with no guesswork. And your success and revenue is guaranteed. That's because with Launch My biz your success equals their success so they work tirelessly to meet and exceed your expectations how lmb provides comprehensive training and support a dedicated full-time partner success manager proven profitable and guaranteed results and so much more if you're ready to acquire a real business that guarantees success and 10k in monthly revenue apply to become a launch my biz partner today the launch my biz partner program is not for everyone to see if you qualify visit launchmybiz.com and click the apply button if you qualify launch my biz will reach out with next steps that's launch my biz Com. Chase, we're back and it's loud. It's a noisy, crazy, busy, silly sometimes world out there. Is it just too much noise? Is there just too much chaotic craziness for a beginner? We're talking about beginners right now to stand out. Absolutely. There's a lot of noise. It's, you know, there's so much information being put out on a daily basis. There's so much, you know, individuals in the space. You have individuals selling the same thing as you. You have people that are offering the same services you know, the competition is brutal out there. And with everybody getting online now after this whole, you know, now that the pandemic's starting to, you know, 
be set aside as things are starting to get much better now. You know, everybody really started to adopt the online and it's staying, it's sticking around. People are still staying online to actually, you know, continue to advertise and so forth. So it's imperative that you figure out ways to cut through that noise. And, you know, one of those ways you're going to do it is by finding areas where attention is really high and also the amount of individuals there uh, that you're competing with is much lower. So for instance, let me explain that. Instagram Reels, going back to that conversation in TikTok, there's not a ton of advertisers you know, running ads on TikTok yet. And there's not any advertisers running on uh, Instagram Reels because that placement, what Facebook wants is they want to get everybody super engaged in that one area. And then once they have the attention and they have their metrics dialed in and they're like, okay, we know all these people are on Instagram Reels. We're averaging this amount of time. Now we're going to let the advertisers use this placement. And then they'll open it up. Well, if you think about that, that's an opportunity one for if you're not running ads, you have the opportunity to organically reach a lot of people. And then once the avenue does open up, with the advertisers. Now you have a placement where there's a time and tension to market to. So, you know, you want to be focused on both sides. One, before it's available to advertisers and two, once it is available to advertisers, you're on it. So that way you're getting the best of both worlds. So, you know, really focusing in on that. And then one, really delivering your message with as much value as possible and putting out, you know, a consistent amount of testing. You got to do some testing to see what works with your audience. The more testing you can do, the more you can actually find out what it is that's going to resonate with an individual. Fire Nation, yes, there's noise out there. Yes, it's chaotic out there. But listen, when you do the right thing and you are cutting through the noise and you are becoming the best solution to a real problem, people will beat a path to your door because people want the best solution to a real problem. And when they're looking for what you're selling and you are the best solution to that problem, you will win. Now, let's go through some of the ways that we can get started with Facebook ads in 2021. I mean, the Fire Nation's like, okay, I'm ready to get started. I'm understanding this whole leveraging IG Reels and TikTok. I'm understanding that data doesn't lie. I understand the headline and the offer and how images are outperforming video right now. What are the best ways for our listeners, Chase, to get started with Facebook ads here in 2021? It's very simple. I mean, people can go to business.facebook.com, set up a business manager, create an ad account, and you know, you have to spend no more than five dollars a day. That's that's no more than a cup of coffee. I mean, if you're going to Starbucks, I'm sure you're paying more than five dollars to get a coffee. Most people are. It's just typical. And the thing is with that, if you know, if you're willing to pay that for a cup of coffee, then it should be okay to be willing to spend five dollars a day. It's not a lot of money to risk, it's not a lot of money to lose, it's no more than a cup of coffee. And that allows you to one see how the data works, understand if things are going well. You, if you're getting purchases, great, then you can start to scale. No need to come in there with a, you know, a mindset of, okay, I have $1,000 set aside with my business or I have you know, $500 that I've just received extra that I want to put towards advertising. If you do that, most of the time people will come in, they'll place like a $100 daily budget and then after five days or you know, a couple of days, the money's gone. And then they wondered what happened. Oh, Facebook ads didn't work for me and so forth. It doesn't need to be that way. You don't need to scale unless you're actually seeing the results. In that way, you actually limit your risk and can achieve you know, success by once you do see something that works, then you actually decide to scale. That way you don't go in there with you know, assuming that you're going to be able to get results with some large budget that you all of a sudden got access to. Go ahead and start small and then only move up if it does work. $5 a day, Fire Nation. And then only scale if you see results. You're only going to scale if you start seeing results and your business can grow with you. So Chase, we talked about a lot of awesomeness today. What do you really want to make sure Fire Nation gets from everything that we talked about? Like really take this home for us. What's the one big takeaway from our conversation today? Yeah, it's honestly really just about starting and not being afraid to actually create content, okay? Um, whether it's for your business, you don't have to be the person showing yourself on camera. If it's for your product, if it's for your service, a lot of times people are nervous or afraid or, or self-conscious about themselves and shooting content or, you know, making a photo or something like that. It doesn't have to be that way. You know, content goes viral on TikTok, content goes viral on Instagram. Ads convert really well without people. You know, it, it can work. You don't, you don't have to use your actual um, self. You don't even have to use your own voice. There's actually tools that'll actually talk and you just type in the text and they'll do it for you. That way, if there's any you know, self-consciousness about anything, there's so many ways that you can still do this without having to worry about those specific things that you're worried about. And that allows you to actually get started, create the content, see what works, and then get warmed up to the idea. You know, I, Before I started YouTube, I had 200 videos 
literally logged before I decided to post my first video because I was so self-conscious about what it, it was that I was coaching individuals on because I was like, what if somebody doesn't like it? What if they don't like the way I talk? Or, you know, what if it's something that the way I look or, you know, I was just nervous about launching. I, it literally took me 200 videos to create before I decided to publish one. And the moment I decided to publish that one video after I built up all that confidence, it did great. And then I just, the good thing is I had 200 of them I could literally release now and I was able to actually create content. And if I was decided not to post for a month, well, guess what? I still had backlog content that I could pull from. And still to this day, there's so much content that we've been building up, you know, just as a vault alone because of that one, you know, time where I ended up backlogging all this content. And so that's really allowed me to be able to post um, if I'm, you know, not feeling it one day and so forth. So, you know, you can always create this content and not post it to build up the confidence as well. Confidence is huge, Fire Nation. If you have the confidence by, again, if you just start at $5 a day, get the confidence to get one conversion. If that one conversion made you $10, then maybe you bumped up to $6 or $7. You can continue to scale as you want, as you need, as you're going forward. Chase, how can Fire Nation learn more from you? How can we learn from you? How can we get educated with you? How can we connect more with you past this podcast? Break that down for us. Absolutely. So, I mean, if you go to my site, chasechapel.com, it's C-H-A-S-E, chapel, C-H-A-P-P-E-L-L.com. Uh, you can find my social media there, my YouTube channel, my Instagram. There's a lot of content we're putting out on TikTok daily, um, as well as, you know, if you go to chasechapel.com slash fire, you'll be able to get, you know, all of the discounts to uh, all of the products that we offer. Fire Nation, you're the average. Of the five people you spend the most time with, you've been hanging out with CC and JLD today, so let's keep up that heat. And again, if you head over to eofire.com and type Chase in the search bar, the show notes page will pop up with everything we've talked about here today. Best show notes in the biz, timestamps, links galore. And of, and of course, head over to chasechapel.com slash fire. That's two Ps, two Ls, chasechapel.com slash fire. And Fire Nation. You know that you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, and you've been hanging out with the right people today. So just keep doing those things. And Chase, I'm gonna say thank you, brother, for sharing your truth, your knowledge, your value with Fire Nation today. So for that, we salute you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey, Fire Nation, today's value bomb content was brought to you by Chase. And one thing that I've identified over the years is that successful entrepreneurs, they are productive and they are disciplined and they are focused, which is why I created the Mastery Journal. It's a gorgeous full other journal that will ensure that you master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days. It is my best work ever. So visit themasteryjournal.com. Use promo code podcast for a $15 discount. And thank you for listening to my podcast. And I'll catch you there or I'll catch you on the flip side. What if you can run an e-commerce business with no tech experience or employees and generate 10K or more each month? Today's sponsor, Launch My Biz, is doing just that. LaunchMyBiz.com guarantees your success and revenue with complete end-to-end -end training and support. Apply today at LaunchMyBiz.com. That's LaunchMyBiz.com.